is it recording? How do you incorporate or use GoPro in your day-to-day -day life and in your career? Think of it. Yeah. Some of the things that help me relax mm -hmm. away from the game is fishing, a um, little bit of trail running, um, my dogs, uh, surfing, okay. and um, when I finished school, I actually wanted to study photography. I oh. did study photography for a little bit, so it interests me in so capturing you brought photography in a GoPro. And yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I don't have to ask somebody else to do it for me anymore, right. which is which is pretty cool. Yeah, and then I can also use that to bridge the gap between like myself right. and the fans through social media and say, "This is what I like yeah, to do." You're quite active on social media, yeah. and stuff, so I've been noticing that. Yeah, and then say like, "This is what I like to do." Look how fun it is, one, but also look how awesome it is. Which is your favorite GoPro till date? Um, yeah, I like the session. I like that it. it's nice and small. Right. Um, because it's, it's just a little bit handier. And when I surf, sometimes I use the mouth um, mm -hmm. piece, and it's like a little bit smaller. So you know. Does it annoy you? No, no, actually not. No, because once you finish riding, you just take it out of your mouth and just hold it. You know. What, what about the fusion? Um, I haven't actually used a Fusion yet. Uh, I got one, so I'm excited to see it. Uh, we were talking about it yesterday, and, yeah. and they showed me some of the images um, and um, what it's capable of. Um, and I've, immediately, when I saw one or two of the pictures, I, I like got an idea of what I wanted to do. Right. I just, I, I'm pretty certain somebody else has already taken a picture <laughs> of it, but we'll do it. I'm going to London, so yeah, don't want to give away too much yet, but you'll see on Instagram. What do you recommend other cricketers to use, not GoPro, but any kind of tech? Accessories, gadgets. What do you recommend them to use to enhance and to improve the gameplay? Except for a baton ball, obviously. But yeah, I think I think the thing about like for me, like one of the cool things with like my tech side right. of things was that I was injured for two years. I had a shoulder, mm -hmm. and then I had a had a foot injury. Right. So um, when I was working with New Balance to kind of tell them that the shoes that they were using were collapsing a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, every time we try to take an image of that with a phone, it just didn't work. So I was able to get like my GoPro pretty close to that. Um, I was able to use one of the guys to, to film me quite closely when I was running in and I was bowling so I could see a little bit more of the rotation of my arm and when I was struggling with my arm, like the difference right. where I was at and where I got to. So. Um, Batters can use it like that. If you've got a tripod and if you're busy batting, you can put it right by the stumps and you get a real bird's eye point of view of like what is happening. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is you don't need to hire somebody with a massive D DLSR yeah, yeah. You know, to come and do this. Where you can do it by yourself. Your phone can do it today. The phone can do it, yeah. The phone can do it. But if a cricket ball hits a phone, it's going to break. <laughs> That's, true. That's the difference, you know. What, what phone do you use? What's a daily driver? Well, I use an iPhone X. Okay. Um, and I dropped it once and it's broken. So, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? But I bowl a GoPro and it doesn't break. Yeah. So, oh, I saw you bowling, bowling with a GoPro on YouTube, on YouTube, and I also saw you breaking the GoPro through the, with a ball. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. And yeah. you expect it to break? No, um, we kind of had, we didn't know, we had mixed feelings of what okay. was going to happen with it, but it okay. was it was pretty but sturdy. I'm pretty sure you must have given your all. Like, I tried, <laughs> and um, and it didn't, you know, and that's the cool thing. And the other thing, it's waterproof. You know, my phone is not waterproof. You know, so. Well, I can guarantee you I'm not taking it eight meters down to take pictures of a Buddha cemetery. You know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. So, um, yeah, this is kind of the, the tool of choice, you know. Okay. And uh, do you use a smartwatch? Um, I'm not, a, I'm not really a watch person. No. So not even a fitness tracker. Or... I use, uh, I've used my Garmin. I use my Garmin watch um, when I go for like trail running and stuff like right. that. Yeah. But I don't use a smartwatch for like yeah. messages and and that kind of thing. I use my Garmin basically for That's speed, the uh, distance, um, heart rate. Yeah. What streaming service do you use to listen to music? If you, do? I mean, I'm just Apple. Um, Apple music. music. What are the best places you've been in India? Um, I like Bombay. Um, I've decided to start calling it Bombay now. Yeah, yeah, Bombay. I call it Bombay. Much better. <laughs> so, I like Bombay. Um, although I do enjoy India, and I've been here so many times that the last. I'd say the IPL. last, with IPL and, and whatever, I'd say the last like, at least the last six or seven times that I've come, I've brought friends or family with me to come and share the experience nice. because when I go home and I tell them, I saw this or I did this or I tasted this, right. um, they don't believe me. So I'm like, 
time you come and see it for yourself, you know. You go, okay, get spicy food and masala and all that. I'm fine with that. Hey guys, if you like that video, go like, share and subscribe.